Hey guys, it's David with Ultimate Survival Tips coming to you live from SHOT Show in Las Vegas. This is the largest firearms and outdoor exposition in the world, so I'm really excited to be here. We're going to take a look at some cool stuff over the next couple of days and be releasing a lot of videos to the channel. I'm glad you're here. Let's not waste any more time. Let's go in and get started. Hey guys, so I had to stop by the Spartan Knives booth and talk to Curtis. Curtis, thank you for being yeah, with me. Thanks for stopping by. We appreciate it. Yeah, and I always like to get some nice high-end stuff, give guys a vision for what's really out there. Well, and um, thank you. yeah, I just asked you if you had something everyday carry in. You, you, you pulled this guy out. Uh, tell, me, tell me what you got here. Well, sure. This is a, it's a fixed blade, small knife. You know, we were approached by some, some guys in the Army Provincial Reconstruction teams years ago to come up with a small format for a knife that they could carry inside their waistband when they go to meetings. Uh, so this is kind of what we came up with. They told me the length they wanted, and, and the length was actually quite small. So I, I could tell you, it was a, it's a heck of a time developing a knife this small size that felt comfortable in the hand. Mm -hmm. So, uh, you know, went round and round, you know, like we all do, with cardboard cutouts, plexiglass. We finally got to, the, to doing some CAD models. And uh, so I think we've got it where it's, it's fairly comfortable. Um, it's actually a top-selling fixed-blade knife. Really? It, and what it is sure the name is, of this knife? It's called the Enyo. Enyo, okay. The, the blade is a 2 and 11 sixteenths inches long, so it's just under 3 inches. Mm, that's uh, beautiful. And, and, and quite honestly, most folks carry it as a uh, use small, everyday utility knife. Um, it was made, actually, to go inside the waistband, though. So if you can see here, it just drops in the waistband. And you have an in-waistband loop that holds it in place. Nice. It's nice and thin, it's, so it's unobtrusive. Um, now, we're from North Carolina. And even with a concealed weapons permit, you're not carrying a concealed knife there. I think the law reads a normal pocket knife is what you're allowed to have. So uh, lately, I've seen folks around Fort Bragg, they'll actually take this, stick it inside the small change pocket in their pants, run the loop up along the belt so they don't lose it, and it's now exposed, open to see, and it's actually a great place to have it when you need to reach oh, for yeah. a utility knife. Yeah. So we're seeing more and more folks carry it that way. Comes with that's a, a uh, that's a great sheath design, by the way. I love well, that. Well, thank you, uh, yeah. and I can't take credit for that. Um, Brian Wagner at Oakland in Washington State makes them for us. He's just a phenomenal sheath maker. Um, it comes with a ball chain. Some folks like to wear them around their neck. Uh, from time to time, uh, people walk by our booth, pull their shirt up, just to, you know, <laughs> hey, representing Spartan Blades. Like, hey, got you, brother. Thanks. <laughs> you know, but uh, we use S35VN. It's double deep, cryogenically heat treated and tempered. Uh, you may be familiar with S30V, uh, mm -hmm. made by Crucible, yep. and it's uh, actually created by Crucible and processed through Niagara, in New York. They turned into sheet and form factors that let us make knives out of it. Um, S35VN is a step up on S30V. Um, <clears throat> What they did is they took out uh, a portion of the vanadium and added just a half a percent of niobium. But what that did is give us more strength from side to side on the knife torsionally. So you have about the same edge retention, but it's tougher left to right, and you don't get those small microchips you get sometimes when you're doing hard work on hardwoods and, and things like that. Um, the other advantage of it, it allows me to take a knife where you know, I can sharpen it like this with S30V. With S35VN, I can actually make it slightly sharper, but keep it tough and keep the edge retention. So... The trick as a knife maker is to take advantage of the steel, and one of the ways you do that is you change the geometry of your knife to, to match uh, the, the neat factors of the steel and pass it along to the customer. Yeah. So uh, we've been able to do that, and uh, so we're getting them good and sharp, which uh, by definition should be sharp and pointy, right? That's right, so, that's right. Um, it, you know, we put this decorative bead on here, and while it looks decorative, it actually serves a function. Uh, I was having a hard time getting a hold of a small knife in a way that felt comfortable. And that's why I made it so you get your thumb up on top of it. So when you're whittling or cutting, you know, it's always nice to be able to get up on top of the blade and bear down on it. So with the short length, the fact that your thumb's on top, it really helps you kind of dig in. But the bead actually lets your pinky wrap around it and gives you extra hold on there. Nice. So, nice. so initially we made these beads just for this knife. And of course, Uni University of Michigan kids saw it and Spartans and Next thing you know, they're going in the mail and became a product, which I never meant to be in the bead business, but apparently now I'm a, a bead seller who does knives on the side. So. <laughs> no, but kind of in a nutshell, that's it. Small little fixed blade knife, everyday carry. Uh, they're warrantied for life. As a matter of fact, I think on our warranty it says to the original owner, and I may have to go re knock that out because if we make a knife for you and there's a problem with it, there's something we've done wrong, we just take it back and we give you a new one. No questions asked. I even put a check in the mail, mail it back to you. Cause I hate the fact that, you know, Somebody might think they may have to mail me a knife and lose out on shipping. So if we mess something up, we fix it. If we make a folder and you find it comes loose or, or, or you need it, it's spa treatment, you send it to me, I turn it around the same day. Uh, if you're not happy with it, I'm not happy. 
Um, and it's easy to do because knives rarely ever come back. Yep. So, you know, even if I've got to throw it away and swap it off for a new one, we're pretty good about it. We sharpen free for life. If you cover the shipping costs and you throw the shipping costs in the box, send me your knife. I'll sharpen it up normally the same day, turn it around, and send it right back out to you. How often do you get one back to sharpen? Uh, I think I've gotten three back. <laughs> yeah. And the nice thing about the S3, it holds a great edge. Yep. Now, with that said, you know, there's, there's always a, a good, a pros and cons to everything. Everything's yep. a trade-off. It holds an edge great, but it's a little harder to sharpen. But, you know, we did a survey when we started doing this. We talked to soldiers on Fort Bragg. We just went to the PX and said, hey, come here, kid. You know, do you know how to sharpen a knife really good? No, sir, not really. And... Uh, so we, we want with edge retention over ease of sharpening. And in some, in some instances, ease of sharpening may be more important. But we felt for knives that normally go in the hands of outdoorsmen and soldiers, we want an edge that would last a long time. So what we recommend is a DMT diamond hone for any knife, not just ours, but any knife that's properly heat treated mm -hmm. and made with S35VN. And the trick is, if you, if you hone it and keep it sharp and never let it get dull, you're never having to go through the process of recreating a whole new edge because it, it, it'll wear exactly. your arms out and you easily put elbow grease. So the trick is keep it sharp, keep it sharp all the time, and you'll never have to worry about resharpening. Yep. But, you know, if you're one of those lazy folks that does, send it to me. I'll resharpen it for you, throw it back <laughs> in the box, send it back. So. Cool. So this knife is available now, right? Oh, it's available at our website, SpartanBladesUSA.com. Okay. So, yeah. guys, what I'll do is I'll put a link to uh, Spartan Blades Great, website you. in the uh, video description on YouTube. And, Curtis, thank you so much for Oh, you're for very welcome. Thanks for stopping by. For your convenience, I've included links to all the gear that I've mentioned in the video description on YouTube. Just click the Show More tab under this video. So don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And for more gear reviews, survival tips, and survival news, check out ultimatesurvivaltips.com. While you're there, grab our monthly survival e-mag, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter to get the latest news and be the first to hear about the great gear giveaway contests we have planned. Okay, this is David. I hope to see you on the other side, and remember, be prepared, because you never know.